thank you for having me. Thank that was a nice intro as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> How um how's life, dude? Obviously it's pretty crazy time. I know tour starts soon yeah. and everything's a bit yeah. crazy. How are you? I'm at, do you know what? I'm good. I'm, I'm I'm actually really really good. I think lockdown was a bit strange for everybody. Yeah. Um but I think now everything's starting to go back to normal. Well, that's, well, kind of. But especially yeah. for like the music industry, like tours are starting to go ahead now. Yeah. Um, my tour was, I think, released. I uh, tickets when I saw like two years ago. I think yeah. so, <laughs> to finally actually do the shows is yeah. like unbelievable. Um, yeah. So no, I'm I'm really good, thank you. How, how are you? Yeah, man, I'm all good. Like you say, it's been a it's been a challenging time, obviously, for the music industry. Well, but it's nice to be able to do interviews and obviously kind of you know have live shows back again. How how does it feel, sort of? kind of also just going back out on the road like you say it's been uh, did you call it the third time lucky tour or something like that like yeah, it's been third, yeah. Like, mate it must it must just be like it must be cool to be able to get out there again yeah it's, it's, it's really it's a weird feeling because you, when you when you're doing it so much you got you know going on tour and doing shows you get used to it right and you're yeah you're kind of in it and it is kind of like riding a bike you get back into it very quickly but right, it, yeah. i'm still very nervous it's like do people still care do people still want to like see me after like two yes. years people moved on you know so it's still a bit of a, a strain it's quite scary actually yeah. now i think about it i'm hoping that i get on stage and it just feels like it did two years ago you know i feel yeah. like hopefully it feels like nothing nothing changed um but yeah no it's, it's very exciting i can't wait to get on a tour bus and be with yeah. my like band and my dances and have a laugh and i don't know it's tours always yeah. loads of fun um yeah so i'm just glad to, get to go back on the road unfortunately it's not like i had tours in asia in asia and other parts of the world but now it's just uk but that's fine um mm -hmm. uk is great anyway so i can uh, yeah. just enjoy it in the uk yeah definitely i mean you've had some kind of uh live experience recently obviously i saw you opened the ntas about what just yeah. over a month ago and that talk to me about that because that looked kind of just from watching oh, it mate. like it was unbelievable it must have been mad to do I was so nervous. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. it was, it was, it was really nerve wracking because, well, it wasn't just like an audience full of like I don't know, like fans or people that you know love, love, love like music or my music in particular. You know, it was full of actors and TV yeah. presenters and other singers. So, you know, it was it was a quite hard crowd, I suppose. Yeah. Um, amazing crowd, but obviously, you know, not yeah. what I'm used to. And like the front row was Anthony Deck, and Ricky Gervais, and Ricky Gervais. Oh my god, I'm sure he was sitting there thinking, what a load of, yeah, you, know, you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> So, but I love him anyway. Yeah, legend. And yeah, I, I, I did the did the show, and just before I went on to sing, you know, there was an announcement in the arena to try to get everyone excited, and they said, you know, this year we've got an estimated 11 million people watching live right now, so get get hyped. And I'm literally about 30 seconds away from stepping <laughs> on stage, so uh, I know I've got that many people watching live. I've got the audience, the O2, I've got Ant and Deck in front of me, and Holly yeah. Willoughby, and all those. It was a lot of pressure, but I had so much fun, and uh, yeah. yeah, it was it was such a it was such a great show. Did you get to meet any kind of cool people? I know you've spoken before about yeah. ambitions getting into acting yourself. So like, did you get to meet yeah. any kind of acting well, kind of um, you know what? idols and shit? I saw, I, I saw Deck. I oh, met right. Deck. <laughs> oh man. Um, didn't, didn't meet Anne, but I met Deck. So <laughs> love, love him. He was so lovely. Um, who else did I meet? I think everyone was pretty drunk, so I can't uh, even yeah. remember. But uh, yeah. everyone, uh, Katie Price, she came up to me. <laughs> that was, that, that, was, uh, that, that was a moment. Um, oh, cool. But no, nah, it was really, really, it was good fun. It was really good fun. Nice. Um, obviously, you're coming up to Manchester at the end of October, and tickets yeah. are still on sale. So I'd urge everyone to go out and, and buy tickets for this. But do you, what are your experiences of Manchester? Obviously, have you have you been here many times? Have you? I yeah. imagine have you had that chance to go out in Manchester before. Kind of obviously, it's a yeah. city with such sick kind of musical history and pedigree. It must be quite yeah. cool for artists to come up to Manchester and perform here. Manchester, it's always Manchester, Birmingham, London, and Glasgow are always really like the four kind of big ones for me anyway. Yeah. When I when I do it in the UK, they're always really good shows. Um, yeah. But no, I love Man. I mean, I've been to Manchester so many times. I think I've only ever been on one night out, and I can't remember it. it was <laughs> quite a few years ago, I forgot where we even went, but no, it was cool. But yeah. I, our shows on Halloween night, so I'm gonna yeah. do the yes. show in Manchester, and then we're gonna go out. So if you've got uh, any places where to go, I think it'll be it'll be really fun. Mate, um, be so I want to go out. Yeah, definitely, so, definitely. Um, I want to, I want to take things back to the beginning with you and just sort of talk about kind of where things began. I, I know that you were discovered kind of through social media. Talk to me about kind of yeah. obviously you don't have to give me a whole life story, but sort of that that experience of how things begun for you because it's quite, I don't know, it's quite interesting kind of being discovered on yeah. Facebook. It was um, it was at a time where like Facebook was what TikTok is now, I suppose. Yeah. 
Um, and I was posting covers on Facebook and I started to get a bit popular on the app and people started to, I got a lot of friend requests. It wasn't even subscribers or followers. At that point. <laughs> it was just, so I just had loads of friends kind of thing. It was weird. Yeah, yeah. And then kind of went from there really. And then I um, just gained more kind of like traction online and made more videos and got a bit more popular. And then I got signed a record label when I was 15 and no. signed another one at 17 and just signed another one so there you go third one third time lucky um so yeah man it's been it's been a journey I'm 22 now so yeah, yeah I've been going since I was about 13. So that's- How's that been obviously kind of sort of sort of like living your teenage years like maybe being molded by other people and sort of having to be a certain way or do certain yeah. things and also like I feeling mean- the pressure on yourself to do it too because you yeah. want to succeed I, like how, how yeah. do you reflect on that now you're 22 i think it's more it was more of a like a self pressure more than anything i mean i right. put a lot of pressure on myself um but yeah i think growing up when you're young you know you have people telling you what you should be doing yeah which is understandable that older they might be more experienced but what i have realized is as i've got older is you should trust yourself more mm-hmm. than anyone else take into consideration other people's thoughts and feelings and that guidance definitely especially if they're that's they're kind of what they're there for and they're experienced in what they do but yeah. trust your gut instinct and do what you want to do and what you love because if you don't love it then why are you doing it yeah. because people can see through that stuff and now that i'm 22 i now do them i'm starting to do the music that i love yeah. um i've got a new ep coming out very soon with all the music that i love and listen to and it's so much more me and it's not forced and it's not yeah yeah tailored to a specific you know it's it's just a lot just a lot more me i suppose so i feel it's refreshing to kind of do that stuff and i can't wait to do this tour and kind of close a chapter on that kind of part of my life and Mm -hmm. open up a new one with new music and kind of a bit more of a new me and uh, see what it takes me really yeah definitely i mean what would you say to sort of because obviously we're we're a student station up in near manchester you and i are the same age and lots of people who listen to this uh, interview will be sort of young people kind of similar age to us and maybe even younger what would your you know it's been a really challenging sort of 18 months for young people and you yeah. have experienced like difficulty and pressure throughout your career so far as a yeah. young person what would your like message to kind of young people these days be because it must be interesting as a young person in the spotlight yeah you I think my message is is you don't need to have figured it all out yeah. Like it's absolutely fine to not know what you're what you're doing at all. Like yeah. even with people that look like they've got it all figured out, like myself, you know, I'm I'm doing well. I'm I've, yeah. I've been I've had some success and I'm I'm doing yeah. good and I, I love what I do. But um, most days I wake up and think, what am I? What's next? What am I doing? Where am I going? And I think I finally realised it's actually fine not to know exactly what you what you're going to be doing. Yeah. Life's life's too short to know all the answers, and it's okay not to know all the answers. So roll with it i don't know yeah. live each day how it how it, you know, day by day yeah. you know and just be appreciative of the things that you do have and go for the stuff that you don't have and then mm-hmm. and see where it takes you really but yeah i think a lot of these days we put pressure on ourselves it's not necessarily other people we do it to ourselves so let's be be kind to yourself and yeah man i don't know yeah, completely. I mean, you're 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 speaking of doing well. You're doing pretty well for yourself. So hats off to you. I, <laughs> I saw that you um. Uh, the new house talk to me about that <laughs> love it on a bit of a renovation project by the looks yes of me. love my new house uh built my <laughs> i didn't build it in my own hands but bill has built my house and that's uh, yeah. sick i actually love it um it's got like everything i wanted in it it's a good first time well, it's a great home in general i'm very 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 lucky but yeah. it's got a really nice kitchen i just designed everything during lockdown all the inside picked everything all the sofas I've got the biggest sofa ever <laughs> um, i've got a projector which is sick uh, got little a little cinema there. room well yeah that's yeah, that's basically what it is yeah so Lovely. cool um but it's a, uh, it's you know i've worked hard so i'm i'm happy with it and i and i like telling people about it not not to kind of boast about it or but i it's 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 cool you know people are interested in it and i, I like i said i'm very lucky and appreciative of it but it's sick it's so yeah. cool <laughs> so, uh that's basically it i, lo- I love my house so. yeah yeah, totally. Um, I want to take you back this time last year. Obviously, I don't want to be the guy who always asks you about Strictly, but you know we've got to talk about oh, it. This time last year, you were doing Strictly, man, and uh, I was. 
and and you smashed it you absolutely smashed it and it was i think it came on at a time that was kind of yeah i don't know it was it was a really important time for lots of people it was in that like horrible yeah. winter lockdown like it was yeah. a pretty pretty it w- weird time for everyone how yeah. how do you reflect on that because it was such a sick experience yeah do you know what i got asked when everything got cancelled my tour got cancelled and i think any other year i wouldn't have been able to do it because i like oh. I, i'm on tour now i would have always been on tour or would have been doing the music stuff so because everything was cancelled it was like the perfect opportunity to do it and it was the i think it was the best year i could have ever done it because yeah. everyone was at home uh, i was we were giving entertainment to people that were bored there was no yeah. other live tv really going on at all there was nothing else on tv so people were watching the show that would not necessarily have ever watched it before yeah. So I have friends that are watching it, not just because I was on it, but because they were genuinely enjoying it. Yeah. Because that was that's what they had to watch, you know. Um, so it had like the re- like record figures, people watching yeah. it. So I, I'm glad I picked that year to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, mate, it was an, it was a great time. It was a good experience. Very hard. Um, harder than I thought it would be. Very yeah. challenging. Um, but I got to the final. Didn't win, but we won't talk about that. Um, <laughs> no, no, Bill Bill Bailey deserved to win. He was he was unbelievable. Um, but um, I had a great time. It was a good experience. So, well, when you got the when you got the call for it, was it something you? Because it's it's like you know it's the biggest show on TV or something yeah, like that. And obviously, like is. you say, like it was it had a massive audience. But it's not really something that people our age really tend to nope. watch a load of. Um, nope. I guess in, in one breath, it was something that I imagine really helped you kind of grow an, an audience a little bit. But also to kind of yeah, it, it brought an audience to that show that people might not have usually watched, kind of thing. Exactly. I think it was a bit of both literally what you just said and, and that, I mean, you kind of answered it for me. I feel like it was yeah. kind of that. I mean, I gained a bit of an audience that I wouldn't necessarily have seen me before and I also thought I brought up a bit of a younger audience. Yeah. Um, you know, has it changed my life? I mean, no, but, but like it, was, it, was, it, was, it, added, it added to my what yeah. I do, which yeah. is great. That's what I wanted it to do. I wanted, it to, I wanted to learn something from it. And I yeah. wanted to take experience away from it. So yeah, it definitely added to my, to my life, I suppose. And yeah. uh, it was a great family experience. And um, I met some amazing people on the show. And yeah, it was, it was I wouldn't have changed it for the world. It's such a good show to be a part of. So if there's any, anyone that gets asked to do it, you should definitely do it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I want to I wanna just uh, quickly talk about the new tune. Obviously came out at the start of September, I think. Run away with it. Um, love the tune so much. We've been playing it on the radio a lot up here in Manchester. Tell us a bit about the tune, like kind of what it's about and what inspired certain elements of it, etc. Basically, um, wanted to have a song that kind of people would recognise a little bit. So yeah. it was a, it's a sample from an older song called I Love Your Smile by Shanice. Yeah. I didn't even know that song. I knew it for when Chris Brown, Chris Brown sampled it in the start of one of his songs called Undecided. Right. So a lot of my friends were like, oh, I know this tune, it's like a Chris Brown tune. And then my mum and dad were like, oh, we know this tune. This is from back in the day by Shanice. So it was good because people knew it and they didn't know how they knew it kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And then I made it to that song and that was pretty much it. That was that was the thought that went into it. Just wrote it, see if we can make it catchy and there you go. That's, that's what happened. Yeah, proper, proper catchy tune. And and you mentioned there's an EP coming soon. What's the... Yeah. Can you say anything about that? Because I know, obviously, you you, yeah. you announced an album, like, a while ago, but yeah. then had to go back yeah. on that, didn't you? Where, where yeah, are we at with like, kind of new music coming out in a well, kind of collective sense? The new music is not dance music. It's it's <laughs> the music that I love. Um, it's more kind of like... I don't know how to explain it, really. Um, you just have to listen to it. It's just not dance. Um love dance music uh but yeah it's just it's not a lot of the stuff that i've done this far in my career has been what i've told would, would work and what people want to listen to rather than what i like to listen to or what i want to be yeah so for the first time in a long time this is the stuff that i actually enjoy and i like and, so, and have you got a timeline for when you're thinking of yeah. stuff coming out is it well, i think i think there'll be like a pre-order that goes live very soon but i don't know the exact date but yeah very soon Lovely. Um, and quickly before we go, I want to talk about the London Palladium gig because I know you're doing that, um, mate. You must be buzzing. That's at, like that's, that's huge. But <laughs> absolutely buzzing. Two nights at the Palladium. Don't know how we did it, but we're doing it. Um, yeah. Can't wait. Very nervous. Very excited. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't forget any of the lyrics. Yeah. Uh, other than that, yeah, I'm buzzing. Can't wait. Yeah, definitely. Harvey, thank you so much for joining us on the Fuse Fun Break Show. You. You're, you're up at the Academy on, on Halloween nights. It's going to be a massive party. We love it. New EP coming night. soon. Runaway oh, yes. with it is out now. 
And um, thank you so much, man. Mate, thank you. Also, anyone that comes to the Manchester show, you need to be wearing <laughs> Halloween costume, right? Okay, I don't want to see no normal costumes. <laughs> love it, cool. love it. Nice one, mate. Thank you so okay. much. Bro, see thank you, you so much. I really appreciate it. I'll see you soon.